This video will cover the visualization module within Puma. In order to visualize a microtomography sample, the sample must have been imported and a threshold value selected. Alternatively, an artificial material can be visualized as soon as it is generated. When a visualization is created, the marching cubes algorithm must run. The marching cubes algorithm represents the 3D domain as a collection of triangles, which creates an approximate surface for the material. For a microtomography sample, there are typically between 10 million and 100 million triangles that are visualized. For this tutorial, we'll import a 400 cube sample of the tomography from the sample tomography provided with the distribution. Using a threshold value of 87. The visualization can be generated by clicking the Create 3D Visualization button or by clicking Visualization Generate 3D Visualization. The visualization window can be resized and the 3D model can be manipulated. To rotate the image, hold down the left mouse and move the cursor. To zoom in and out, hold down the scroll wheel and move the cursor up and down. To change the center location of the 3D model, hold down the right button and move the cursor around. To reset the view parameters, exit out of the visualization window and select a new visualization. The visualization options can be changed by clicking Visualization, Visualization Options. The triangles can be visualized as either solid triangles or as a wire mesh. The background color can be changed, and the box outline can be resized, removed, or changed in color. Additionally, the image can be rotated more precisely by selecting a value in degrees and rotating the sample in that way. Once the visualization options have been changed, you must exit out of the window and create a new visualization for those to go into effect. As you can see with the new options, the background color has changed. The box is now a new color, and when you zoom in, you can see that the triangles are now being visualized as a mesh rather than as solid triangles as they were before. To save an image, one can click File, Save, Image, or Visualization, Save Image after which a dialog window will appear and you can save the image in the desired location. You have to save the image as a PNG. The triangles can also be saved by selecting File, Save, Triangles, Binary File. These triangles can be imported by saying visualization, import for visualization, and selecting the binary file, as seen here. The final two options in the visualization options pertain to the oxidation module. The oxidation itself will be explained in a separate video, but the options display buffer and display particles display the buffer zone above and the particles during a simulation. As an example here, you can see that the buffer zone is displayed in blue and the particles are displayed in red.